Morgen, David Everybody talks about education reform, we live it. The homework that you did yesterday, really some of the best work you guys have done. We are doing something very unique. The Washington Jesuit Academy is all about education reform in real time, uh, not in the theoretical. So we are the small class size, the extended school day, the extended year, and the very special attention by an ultra-talented staff. Because again, guys, we're talking about poetry, a play on words, figurative language, where sometimes you have to interpret what you think the writer is trying to say. First of all, it's an incredible education. 12 hours a day, um, 11 months out of the year, you get three meals a day, and it's very intense. We're preparing them for some of the best high schools, you know, so they have to understand from day one, it is not going to be easy. The day is long. The day is hard. Our expectations are very high. If you look at the statistics, our boys are leaving here not just at grade level, but above grade level. Okay, for sure. And that's not where they're coming in. Marquel came in. His problem was definitely work ethic, work ethic and attitude. Me and Marquel's life was kind of chaos. Back then I had people that I was looking up to that were not doing the right things. He thought he had to build up a reputation. He would throw chairs. He would cuss. He thought that he had to make them scared of him. Well, I thought a man before I came it was like a person who like, got respect through fear. He had to adapt to where he was. Marquel went to at least five different schools. I don't think he knew what hard work was, and it did not happen right away. I do homework probably two hours, two and a half hours a day. I couldn't believe that, you know, he, he was going to go to school from 7.30 in the morning to 7.30 the night. They feed him three times a day. You, you, you can't get that nowhere, not unless they get locked up. By going to college and finishing high school, the doors are really open for him to do just about anything. Have you kept count of how many times you won student of the week or most improved student? Uh, no. He really likes to help little children now, and he really likes to do community service work. So he does community service every Saturday from 8 to 4. I want to go to a good high school. I want to, like, have a future. I don't want to be, like, being nobody. I don't want to be somebody. So I just think about that. I get up with my uniform on. You can go wide or you can go deep. We very much believe in going deep. My name is Martise Holmes. Um, 14 years old. Some people thought I wouldn't even make it to 8th grade because I was so bad. I was kind of known as a troublemaker, but the troublemaker who was cool, which was what I thought was the right thing because I'm a kid and I want to be cool. He has a background of things that happened to him in his past that I might not want to, you know, share with y'all at this moment because it's kind of personal. Martise was always very smart, but he was I think some people would say he was bad. He got into trouble a lot. Um, he was in special ed. He was diagnosed to be in special ed based on his behavior. He was fighting teachers, throwing tantrums, um, stealing. Um. He talked back a lot, wanted to fight a lot, had a, had a bad temper. He had some of the worst habits when it comes to work ethic and respect that you could possibly imagine. And, he did not know that those things were wrong. I didn't care really. He was on seven different types of medicine and as of today, he's on no medicine at all. You see these boys in their uniforms and they're, and they're happy and they're connecting and you forget what these kids go home to. A lot of these guys are in neighborhoods that are infested with drugs, violence. If you are in a situation where someone hits you. To some people it would be shocking, but to these guys it's like they, it's their life. Like these guys walk home and it could be like a scene from a movie to some people, but this is what they actually have to see and walk through. If it wasn't for WJA, my son right now will probably be locked up, institutionalized, or maybe dead. And we're going to talk for a minute about what we're going to do in the advisory. The impact of the school is comprehensive. It's not just an academic impact, it's a social impact. It insists on parental buy-in, guardian buy-in. Everybody is part of what makes this place work. 
Well, Mr. Blue, who's the person who got me here, he just did a lot for me, and so did his best friend, Mr. Washington. When I really needed like the man and like a, a father figure to give me advice, those are the two people I went to because those were the closest things I had. I know a lot of the guys don't have dads at home. If I had to narrow it down to one really exceptional thing that WJ has given me, it would have to be that, that they gave me love. They helped our relationship. That's what I love about them. Because when we walked in the door, we didn't have a relationship. Now that we have a relationship, it's because of WJA. When Mr. Blue first uh, told me about WJA, I actually did not want to come here because he told me it was 12 hours a day, it was all boys, I had to wear a uniform every day, I had to wake up at like 6 o'clock in the morning, and that it was academically challenging and everything. Since sixth grade, he's never received anything less than an A, and now he's president of the student body. He just started the, um, the student government here for the first time, and I am the student body president. We had a campaign, I gave speeches, put up posters, went around kissing babies, shaking hands, so I'm just kidding. To see him right now, I am so proud of him, and his behavior has really, really changed a whole lot. He's not perfect, but... <laughs> I think Martise is definitely going to make it. I read the to go to high school. He has some pretty good choices. What specific words from the poem right here, Jason? Attitude. Attitude. We're taking these guys from their neighborhoods and giving them the tools to go on to very prestigious high schools. If you know your friend is doing something that they should not be doing and might get in trouble, why is it wrong to snitch? Is this just on him? Or like Character education is as much a part of their education as reading and writing. Is it ever okay to snitch? Is there a situation where that would be okay? So you get ready to put somebody else in danger too? There's a, there's a real emphasis to the school to have athletics, exercise. It's about really creating a whole human being. This year, we had Shakespeare and I played Romeo. And I would never do that in front of anybody before WJ. It was really rewarding. No matter what happens out in the world, you come here and this is a very special place. And over time, you carry this place with you into that very tough environment that you might come from. Brick by brick, moment by moment, person by person, you're gonna start to change the people around you. The philosophy at Washington Jesuit Academy is to be a man for others, and it means a lot to us to try to instill that into our guys. We want them to understand that to whom much is given, much is expected. From responsibility to manners to civility to taking care of your environment and your school and your community and your family is all part of what is being taught. And if you meet the boys, you see that it's working. The great Oz has spoken.